How you doing everyone? It's Juan Romero here from Switchwatch. Welcome to the Beach Buggy Racing review on the Nintendo Switch. If you're a new watcher here, then welcome to our channel. I hope you enjoy this review. For all of our existing subscribers, thank you very much. All I ask is if you like the video at the end, please hit that thumbs up. It really means a lot to us and leave us a comment down below. It's a hugely busy week for the Nintendo Switch. Lots of games dropping this week. It's really exciting. But let's not wait any longer and let's get into the Beach Buggy Racing Review. There is no real story here so let's give a little background. Beach Buggy Racing was developed by Vector Unit which originally made its debut on mobile devices. It has since made its way onto the Xbox One and PS4 so a pretty old game in that respect. It's now been ported onto the Nintendo Switch and essentially it has very little competition in the racing genre at the moment. The problem is, is it has to go up against the impeccable Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. However, the price points are vastly different and that's what you'll need to decide by the end of the review whether this game is worth your money or not. In terms of audio here it has a rock feel to it but in all honesty the musical tracks are quite generic and you won't be thinking at the end I really enjoyed listening to that I want to download it on Google Music or Apple Music for example it fits the game well but there's nothing here that made me think that the audio was super catchy it also tends to repeat quite a bit but then at this price point you can't really expect too much more. The sound effects are good and there's nothing out of place here. In terms of visuals they're actually quite nice but I have to say the mobile roots of this game really do show up on the Nintendo Switch no matter how much gloss you add on top. The models of the cars do look good and there's a wealth of customization to personalize your vehicle which is a really cool feature. I do like the smooth performance running at 60 frames per second in docked mode and I didn't notice any slowdown either in docked mode or in handheld to be fair also runs fantastically well you do notice though that there is a difference in graphical detail between handheld mode and docked mode which is to be expected so as a gameplay it does a lot right in this department there's things that you will notice straight off the bat and that is the wealth of content here there are plenty of tracks a career mode daily challenge quick race and tournaments which much like mario kart 8 are broken up into cc you will have to unlock the ability to play in the higher cc categories through playing the career mode there are plenty of cars to choose from and you can customize them to more or less your taste in terms of color and all sorts of graphics that are available in races you earn cash and the higher up you finish out of the six that you play against the more cash you get this can then be used to upgrade your vehicle's speed, acceleration, handling, but to name a few. Races feel fast and the controls actually feel very tight. The races never feel overly long, which is great as you can pick up the game, play for five minutes a race and come back for more later. The frustration really comes in with the AI. When you get further in, they really do feel overpowered and it seems no matter how good you drive, you'll always catch you up or there'll be a driver who powers on ahead no matter what you do. Then there are the head-to-head -head races, which can be really frustrating later on. They feel way too difficult to the point of being unfair. Each head-to-head -head will unlock the specific character though, and you can then use that character to race. To 100% complete the game, you'll need to get three stars on each of the levels, and you can do that by finishing first. There are two types of power-ups in each race. One is the specific power-up to your character. So for the character I chose, he was able to use a speed boost whenever I wanted to. However, because it is once per race, it needs to be used tactically. Cue everyone unleashing their power-up in the last third of the race. Another example is a character who can use the flowers to slow you down, which was quite nice to see but really frustrating if you get caught up in it there are other types of power-ups and these are ones that you pick up during the race again sorry to harp on much like mario kart 8 deluxe and these are random and they're 25 power-ups in total which is quite a lot and these affect the races in a number of ways in my view though i think there are too many different power-ups and because of that it's made it a lot harder to balance the game i'm all for content but in a game like this it needs to be fairly balanced you can play the game in split screen which is nice as you can use four joy cons to race against four friends although unfortunately there is no online mode here 
but I'm not surprised as most indie games on the Switch thus far have negated this aspect, which is a little bit of a shame as I could have seen myself having some races on this online, but these are the features it seems at the moment that only AAA titles are bringing on the Nintendo Switch. In terms of value, the single player campaign is large and will take you a while to complete the various stages and cups with over 15 different courses. There are challenges to unlock, more cash for upgrades and daily runs, which is all brilliant. Some of the challenges are fun, like using your car to launch rockets onto targets and to blow up cars. Whether you want to complete all of this content really depends on how much you enjoy the game. The game for me certainly wins out on value as it offers plenty of longevity and for the price of £8.99 or $10 you do get a lot here. You also get to play against four friends in split screen which is a really good addition. In terms of value I definitely recommend this. So on to my verdict. Beach Buggy does not have much competition on the Switch in terms of racing games right now and especially not at this price point. The game's not perfect, it has frustrating AI and difficulty spikes, it shows its mobile roots in terms of the visuals but the game runs silky smooth and feels fast and the controls are tight. Its competition have price points which are quadruple what this costs and while one of those is one of the best kart races of all time, the other is not even close. This then does a solid job in forming its own little path. It's a charming little racer and one which is seriously hard to ignore for £8.99 or as I said already $10. So this then a solid 7 out of 10. Now guys if you like this review you know what to do please hit that thumbs up really means a lot to us. If you're a new watcher here then consider subscribing to our channel we've got plenty of reviews for you to catch up on and last but not least leave me a comment down below let me know what you think of beach buggy racing or any other Nintendo Switch game, I will be delighted to respond to you. You know what I'm going to say guys, I'll see you on the next one and it won't be too long, trust me. See you next time guys. Hey.